The hijab is much more than a head covering, but the overall concept of being modest and humble in other aspects of life as well. A similar instruction is given in the Bible. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Gospel of Matthew 5, 27 to 28. A Muslim woman who choose to cover their hair and dress modestly view the act as a right and not a burden. The concept of hijab is not a concept that is unique to Islam. The three Abrahamic religions share many beliefs, including the idea of covering one hair in public with a veil. It was the custom of Jewish women and Catholic nuns to go out in public with their heads covered. As recently as 40 to 50 years ago, it was unheard of of a Christian woman to go to church without covering her head, nor wearing a long skirt. In fact, the concept of a female head covering is found in the Bible, stating a woman must cover her head, and if she shows her head uncovered, she dishonors her head, and should have her head shaved off. Unlike related passages found in the Quran, Paul in this verse presented the veil as a sign of a man's authority. A woman wearing a headscarf, in his view, should be doing so to show her subordination to a man. This sexist view of women covering their heads reflects the influence of certain individuals in the West who think that hijab is oppressive and a symbol of inferiority and degradation. This is because they subconsciously are reacting to the Judeo-Christian concept of the veil, which is the symbol of a woman's subjection to her husband. This is not the case in Islam. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.